and the chances are you may not recognise this man. But if the fundraising efforts of local people are successful, we'll soon be aware of him, as they are aiming to erect a blue plaque to honour his achievements. He is Langley's best-kept secret. The man in question is Charlie Grigg, and for many years he drew cartoons for comics, most notably Corky the Cat and Desperate Dan, and as such he brought laughter and enjoyment to thousands of comic-reading youngsters, and later to adults when he drew some of the saucy seaside postcards for Bamforths. Well, the fundraising efforts have been organised by Black Country Radio's Billy Spakeman. Charlie was the cartoonist for Corky the Cat, Desperate Dan and loads of other things and he lived not more than a mile, mile and a half from here and stayed here all his life and nobody knows who he is so we decided that he wanted it well. Yeah. Steve, Steve and uh, myself and the sons decided that we need to get a blue plaque and to get a blue plaque we need some money so to get some money I found a few people who come and work for me sometimes and uh, this was the ideal place to start the night. Well, I think Dad's work is as well known as, as perhaps Coronation Street, you know, lots of national institutions. Uh, millions of people have, have seen his work uh, and uh, enjoyed it, yet hardly anybody apart from local people know who actually drew it, who actually yeah. did the, the artwork. And I think it's, it's long overdue that he actually got some recognition for what he did. He brought a lot of pleasure to, to loads of people. And it's really nice that, that this is happening. Billy Spakeman being the torchbearer for, for the whole project, really. Uh, and it's great that it's happening now, especially as this is the 100th, he would have been 100 next month. So, yeah. so next year is a centenary of his birth, so it's quite apt, really, yeah. that, that it's taking place now. We used to get free comics every week, Absolutely. Didn't we? which was yeah. great. Oh, that, that was good, wasn't it? Yeah, and yeah. the annuals at Christmas. Oh, yes. yeah, yeah, got all those, yeah. Well, yeah. My children yeah. absolutely adored it because he used to keep a lot of the comics in a shed in the garden. And when my yeah. kids came to visit Dad and Mum, they used to spend most of their time in the, in the shed, shed reading, yeah. reading comics. Yeah. At Langley's excellent pump house, Billy has organised the first in a series of events to raise funds for the plaque. Got laughter and friendships, jokes and slapsticks in my comic book disarray. So I tightly sleep happy with all my old friends to help me chase those blues away. Corky the cat and everything's fine and dandy. 